Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the tutorial channel. So today I'm gonna help you to go to get up to speed with the Tomac Works AMG GT3 releases. Um, so far, excluding the Mi Darama ex exclusive, uh, that costs about almost uh, if I'm not mistaken, about two thousand Hong Kong dollars. Um, apart from that, um, they're all here. I'm just gonna you know pan the camera up a little bit. There you go. So pretty much, uh, I because I he collect this casting. I think it's a very nice casting from Tamek Works. Um, so apart from um, the Mi exclusive, Mi Store exclusive Darama set, I have the rest of the variants here. So all in all, up to the Linkin Park release, um, including the two Macau release. There is already how many? Um, 12, 12 variants excluding the four uh, in the Dharma set um, so very quickly I want to cover this round uh, I've, I've previously already covered the Taiwan exclusive um, yeah so this one I'm gonna cover the regular release and also the, the Macau release so I want to cover this one first the regular one first okay um, one thing I really like about this one is that it's actually designed by Linkin Park the car I mean um, it's that is designed by Lincoln Park. They were involved in the design. So, to me, it's really something that you know. To me, it's a must have. <laughs> to me, it's a must have. Now, um, the other thing about um, Tarmac releases right now is they include um, these cards in most of the models. So this one is actually limited to two thousand one hundred and twelve pieces. So that's why it comes with a card. Mine is one nine. Seven one. I'm just gonna place this aside, and we we'll go straight to the car. So um, this time, I don't think, in the interest of time, I don't think I will actually take them out of the base uh, like I usually do. Uh, this time, we'll just you know um, stare and ogle at them uh, without removing them from the base. If you want to see what's uh, underneath, um, if there's any details that's underneath the car, you can check out my other video that I've covered the Taiwan exclusive okay so um, recently Tarmac Works has been really into um, coming up with base with designs actually so this one you can see here is actually a race finish line race finish uh, start finish line okay and also yep, even the Macau exclusive um, version has that right so um, this time around from these three models, uh, I think maybe I'm lucky or I, I don't know. Um, the side mirrors do look a little different. Um, I don't know is it because um, they've made improvements to the mold? Probably because most of the models we have been seeing so far, um, they always have that droopy side mirror. So this time, these three models that I have um, don't look like they have that problem at all. I really really like this casting actually, this design, this livery. So this one is also a Macau GT Cup. Um, it was ran in uh, 2017, um, driven by Maro Arno. Er I hope I got that right. Third place, finishing. Get that music for relief. Oh, uh, yes, another thing I noticed about this is, um, yep, it actually appears on a real car as well, Pagani. China Automotive. Um, I noticed this sponsorship and I did a quick Google. Um, actually, nothing much came up. I'm not sure. Uh, I was wondering if there was any technical um, collaboration between Pagani and um, the racing team, but uh, apparently I couldn't find anything on Google. On Google. So if you do know, um, you know, do let me know and leave, in, uh, leave the <laughs> uh, comment in the section below. All right. Okay, so this is the Lincoln Park, which I really like, and then next we'll look at the uh, the two zero one seven Macau GT winner. Oh, um, so far, so far, um, I really I realized the the new three designs on the sleeves. Um, they did not place the car, um, the car design like uh, what they previously did. Um, uh, pretty much if I just pan up a little bit again. Pretty much uh, all of the AMG GT3s has um, the car printed on the back of the sleeve apart from these two 
Um, this one has the mini car festival logo, while this one is actually just a, a, a graphic design like that. Okay. Alright. Sorry about the messy background, huh? Okay. Coming back to these cars in front of me. So, yep. So these are, again, um, they're back to more graphic designs. So let's take a closer look at this one. Okay, so this one is actually um, last year's winning car. It's uh, limited to 1,488 pieces. Okay, there you go. So mine is number 244. Just gonna put this aside. And again, yep, I, in the interest of time, I was just, ooh. This one is tight. This one is really, really tight. Oh, oh this is really stubborn. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, this is really stubborn. I'm not able to get it out. Oh no, I can't take it out. Oh no. Yeah, I'll figure it out later, I guess. But yeah, this this is also um one of the really nice livery that i think it's simple um i like the color combination of silver and yellow so the real car i have been sitting seeing photographs of the real thing the one-to-one -one scale on um, on the internet and i really like it and uh, i really like um i think tarmac works has uh, executed this piece really very nicely that's really very nice okay all right yeah, I'll just give it a try one more time and let's see. Yes, I got it. Yes. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now you can breathe. So all along, I really like Tarmac that they did this detail. The the front air vent, the air, the front inter air intake on the bonnet. I like that they, they complete that detail in there. Nice. This is a very nice, this is where I would say quite well executed by Tarmac Works again on this piece. Okay, so next I'll go to the Mi Store exclusive. So this one is actually Mercedes Mi Store Hong Kong exclusive. Um, this one is actually uh, again run by um, Motara in uh, this year actually, um, just a couple of weeks back, the Macau GP 2018. Um, this, this piece is actually the presentation version. Um, so this one has nine, because this is even limited, lesser piece was made. This is only 999 pieces were made. And again, ooh, this one is again another tight one. Another very, very tight one. Ah, there you go. There you go. So same thing, mine came with a card. Mine is number 657. I'll just put it aside and we'll, we'll start staring at the car again. So this one is a basic base, um, no racing line designs because I think probably it's a Mi Store exclusive and it's a presentation version. So um, yeah, that's why that explains, you know, there's no um, special design on the base, I guess. So actually, uh, Motara, Motara ran this car this year. Basically, he's actually also known as Mr. Macau. Um, he has won the Macau GP in uh, two different um, categories, uh, more than 10, about 10 times really in the past um, few years. So pretty much he is um, the record holder, I understand, of the most win in um, Macau GP. So he won, he won in that car last year. And uh, this year he drove this one and um, he finished third place, which I think is quite impressive as well. Yeah, he finished third place in his car. So um, these are not random scribble. They're actually a logo of me. Yep. See? It's actually a logo. It's not a random scribble. All right. So it's a symmetry. Um, if you do know the logic or, you know, the idea behind this design or the logo, do let me know. I'm actually interested to find out as well. Maybe I'll Google it up later. Nice. Nice. So um, I will, yeah, I, I will be taking close-up photos of these pieces later. Oh, I, I somehow this one. Look at that. Can you see it? This one, the disc brakes looks really nice. 
I'm trying to zoom it. Yeah, this one, this piece actually looks really nice. The finishing, the gold, um, the gold, slightly gold outline, the disc brakes. Yeah, it looks quite different. This one is actually similar as well. But somehow, maybe because the car is black, that's why it stands out really, oh, stands out more. Okay, so, um, yep, this year he got third place and the winner was actually an M6. Oh. So this one was actually ran in 2017. Um, so this year, 2018, the one, the M6 that won was in the uh, shell livery. So maybe Tarmac Works will consider doing that. And of course, I will cover the black M6 uh, in another video. All right, so um, there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it. So what I'll do as usual, I will be taking them out of the base and taking close up photos and putting them on my Instagram. Remember to follow me there, vertutoys.mj. And also remember to subscribe me here for more awesome diecast videos. All right, thank you much for watching. Bye.